Hello out there. Happy Halloween or Happy Samhain if you're a pagan and you celebrate Samhain like me. So this is the day before NaNoWriMo and I am live blogging my Nano experience. Today I promised that I would show some of my outline and talk about that. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to turn the camera around here. Let's see. All right, so this is my lovely little laptop, and this is my basic outline for the second part of the novel, noveling experience I'm doing this month, which is to finish my project from a couple years ago, The Forever Throne, which is a diverse high fantasy novel. So this is kind of my basic idea for a layout, not an outline, and I've never done one. Um, I mean, okay, yeah, I have in writing exercises and whatnot, and I didn't put all of the details in the outline, just kind of the basics, because I didn't want to give away too much of my story. But that's kind of the general format that I've decided to use. It's, um, you know, chapter one, chapter two, kind of a loose description of what happens, discuss the main plot, then discuss the subplots and what I'm doing with them, key scenes in each of those uh, areas. And so the reason why I'm doing this is I'm doing this, uh, one of those master classes. I'm doing the one with James Patterson. Now, I've never taken a writing class in my life. And, well, aside from school, I took writing classes in high school and I didn't get along with the deadlines in the particular structure that I was doing it in since I was doing the class in my spare. And what I learned from that is that I didn't want to take any more writing classes. <laughs> I just wanted to write. So especially with everybody telling me that I should make um, writing as a career the hobby until it paid off and then get a real job, which is the worst advice anybody ever gave me in my life. And don't do that. But that's a different story. So, um, I always had this thought in my mind that if someone is teaching writing, but they're not writing, then... I mean, you know, okay, so they know all kinds of the theory about the craft of writing, but what do they know about writing for people? So I figured that a lot of it I could learn intuitively without having to take writing classes. And this was also a bad decision, but um, I don't know. I, I got to do everything the hard way, I guess. So this year when I heard about the course that Jim Patterson was or James Patterson was doing, right, I was like, Okay, well, here's a guy who is one of the most successful authors out there right now. He's probably got something to teach me about the business and about writing. So I found the course very helpful, but he's, he's very much about plotting. He's a plotter, right? I've always been what they call in nano parlance a planter. I kind of have a loose... You know, I've got A, B, C, D, and E that have to be accomplished, and those are the major important things, and those are very clear. Everything in between is really kind of up in the air, and I let it evolve organically. And this is closer to what Stephen King does. I'm a Stephen King fan. I read a lot of his stuff on writing, especially at a young age, so I was all like, okay, that's cool. Um... So I never really worried about it. He's always been a believer in kind of let things happen organically. But I thought, well, let's see what he does. So I had trouble with my um, nano project a couple years ago. I did succeed at doing the 50,000 words, but I did not finish the novel. And part of the reason why I didn't finish the novel is because I kind of was lost with it. I didn't really know where I was going. I had <coughs> all kinds of stuff out of sequence. And it was, it just ended up a big confused mess. And I haven't done anything with it since. So I figured this year, I'm going to finish it in probably the last two thirds of the month. The first two thirds of the month, I intend to devote to writing my fifth Weird West Chronicle, 
which has been going really well and which I have a very clear idea for. So I'm not really worried about that as much, but I'm trying to get the prep work done that I'm going to have to do before I actually sit down to write. This was a mistake I made last year. I had an involved hard science fiction novel and the research was overwhelming and I still did my 50,000 words because I'm a stubborn SOB, right? But I did not, uh, you know, like, I, again, I didn't finish the novel itself. And I'm probably to come back to that this year. So this is my prep work that I've tried to have done tonight so that I can delve in and just start bloody writing tomorrow. So... What do you do for prep work? If you do uh, National Novel Writing Month, what do you, are you a planter, a pantser, which means you write by the seat of your pants and let what happens happen, right? Or a plotter, do you like to have it all laid out very specifically in a clear synopsis and outline beforehand? Let me know in the comments, and that's all for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow when the craziness begins. I might even start at midnight tonight. I will talk to you later. Bye.